Yeah, guys, uh, welcome here to another Rooms of Tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the use of Etikap. And without wasting any time, let's start up uh, my shell. Okay, so I extended a little more border. I start up my Nano. Yeah, I'm going to call it Ron, the filter. And uh, uh, right now, I'm just going to write the script that is going to be used by it, by my Etikap to, uh, to do a man in middle attack. And uh, I'll write her. Uh, uh, if open parentheses call parentheses uh, open parentheses IP to pro which is a defined function and uh, I'm going to equate it to the TCP uh, TCP dot DST and I'm going to equate it to port 80 and of which both of them are, defi are defined function for uh, uh, for the basic HTTP connection so I do an if such for my data and that is the data, uh, the data binding to the data binding uh, of uh, HTTP request and I'm just going to accept all the encoding and uh, close that then I replace I'm just going to replace my uh, my accepted encoding that I've just done up there uh oh sorry sorry a little bit let me write this off and uh, I'm just going to accept the encoding uh, and I've made a little mistake here it should be encoding sorry so uh, um, after accepting, I accept the the encoding, and then what I have I want to do is to uh, to accept to 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 try to change uh, the, the the my normal uh, the normal encoding that I normally get to something that is more ridiculous, so that it can accept entries for a man in middle attack. So I'm just going to write rubbish. This is not a spelling. Shh. Hold on. So. Yeah, that's it. So once that that is done, uh, I need to make sure that uh, whatever is whatever is done, my zap file, my, my zap request, uh, uh, are still they they are handled as normal requests. So I'll uh, make a message, uh, open close close post zap accept. Sorry, sorry a little bit. I just messed up. Accept. Uh, encoding supposed to be encoding accept encoding yeah so once that is said and done I, I just have to let me space it uh, push it to the next line and then I come down here and uh, I close I close uh, for my first uh, uh, the my first open uh, bracket that I made and the second one to close that if statement so I'm just going to start up another new if statement here that is going to handle our replacement string that we made up there so I'll just go ahead and type replace IP protocol as it could to uh, TCP exactly what we did up because uh, remember what we have inside there the first is uh, the replacement for our accept encoding to our accept rubbish so right now we <coughs> sorry we write our TCP dot uh, now the reason as to why I'm using um, SRC is because that's the string that I want to replace. All, 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 all image strings. That's why I'm using uh, that are uh, the function of that, the, the SRC function, uh, and I'm equating it to port 80 to grab uh, images from port 80. So I come down here and say replace image. Now, what I'm going to do first immediately, I'm just going to look for a picture that I can use. And with this, I'm going to go to my browser and. Uh, let me search for say um, Runsoft. Yeah, Runsoft could be good. Uh, Runsoft, and I go to uh, wait a minute. I'm um, any pictures. Uh huh. There's this ugly looking guy, douchebag. <laughs> okay. Hey, and how you guys? Don't comment about me being a douchebag. I'm I'ma kill you. I'ma look for you if you do that. But it's okay. <laughs> Sorry. So uh, I I I go ahead and uh. Actually, what I'm trying to do right now is to get to grab the location of this picture because it's what I'm going to be using to replace every string that is uh, that I'm going to use to damage all my uh, as in the network, uh, the network that I'm located on. So uh, inside uh, my my uh, image uh, image string function handler, I'm just going to type in uh, my uh, protocol and uh, uh, my uh, image location. So I'll go ahead and um, type. Image RSC as you could to uh, or slash open parentheses, close parentheses, HTTP. Um, but uh, oh, hold on, www. No, wait, I had copied this right, so I just need to 
I just need to paste it. Douche. Okay, so having done that, s uh, uh, since I'm lazy, oh, hold, wait a minute, I, I just have to replace one more string here and uh, to close uh, the two uh, uh, quotation. So, I ca so it looks pretty fine right here and uh, I just have to close this and uh, since I'm too lazy what I'm going to do I'm just going to copy this I'm going to co copy my first string let me just do that and bring it down here and uh, I'm just going to change one thing here and uh, let's say I'm just going to make my uh, image image R uh, src into a uppercase this time because there are two different strings one is the first string that's the normal string then the second string is the, str the string that uh, uh, redirects our uh, our replacement. So I'll just come to my message and then I'll type. Oh, this has to be also a, a lower case. Filter dot uh, filter run dot then I push it to uh, my next line. And then, having said that, I think we are really done. I close this, hold control X on your keyboard to, uh, to exit this. Because uh, probably it's uh, it's really done. I have to replace this first message. So pretty much it's okay, right? So Control X on your keyboard, because our, sc uh, our script right now is pretty clean. And our uh, Y, and then we save it, and we shall see it on our on the other corner as we done. So we have a file created on the filter. Let me clear this out, and then I start up. I need to fill to com to our uh, to compile it and I'm going to use uh, the it filter command it filter slash run that filter the filter uh, slash o run that if and that that if is our new file that we want so bingo it's done and uh, once it's done I will run I'll start now to run my file uh, to uh, to poison my whole network, so I type it a filter slash t uh, slash choose uh, uh, sl uh, minus minus t minus two minus f run um, a p and uh, right now I'm not going to give any significance to any IP. I'm just I, I want to do it to the whole network, and I want to poison the whole network. So um, I hope you guys you understand whatever I'm doing. In case you don't understand, just leave your comment down there or send me an, a PM uh, and I'll reply you seriously so as we see here we have some pretty nice posts running and BINGO we're ready to go okay so what we have here we've done we uh, our sniffer is already in action so how about we go to the bad guy to the bad guys and we see as uh, to the good guys <laughs> and we see what they have but before we do that let me do a uh, an if config so that we can see you see my IP is it eight that the one uh, the one two two nine? Remember that. Don't forget, right? So here the bad the, here's the bad guy. I started my internet connection. This is the victim's computer, and uh, so what what basically we're trying to see is what's happening to the victim's side because I've I've just poisoned the whole network right now. And you remember that little little guy, that that little douchebag who had run run, run tube as I, I don't know, runny flip tube, right? You can see his little pictures all over everywhere. The network is already poisoned. How about we try CNN and we see what they got for us in stock? You see down here they're running. So let me just try to run my CMD to see what uh, what the what's the the IP for this guy. So IP config slash all. And we see here he's running on our Ada one three one. Wow, bingo! Look at what what's happening to CNN. This is CNN, CNN's new site, and uh, it's pretty much hacked. Not for CNN, but for uh, for the, the 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 guy using this this machine. This box is pretty much hacked. So guys, thanks. Leave your comments, subscribe, and I think this has been so helpful. All right, I'll see you later.